Welcome to the Sowing Seed Podcast. One guy's thoughts on family, faith, farming, and financial freedom. Now from the Farms Podcast Studio, here's your host, Matt Miller. Wanted to take a minute to share three quick learnings from Social Media Marketing World, the conference that I was at here several weeks ago. It's the fourth year I've been, for those of you that um, have any interest in the space at all or who are even potentially working in the space, I would highly recommend attending that conference in San Diego. It's a game changer. Anybody who's known in the industry is there and they are absolutely on the cutting edge of what's going on with social media, etc. But as far as learnings, the first one is that video is going to become a bigger and a bigger part of what we do each and every day and the content that we consume. So for those of us that have a brand or a company that we want to promote and keep in front of people and keep them aware of, we need to learn to utilize video and leverage that content with our smartphone to keep ourselves in front of our potential customers and audience, whether it be on Facebook, Instagram, Instagram stories, Facebook Live, Snapchat, etc. Getting comfortable utilizing video, providing value value to promote what we do. I've got a great example of that. It's a young couple that we're friends with, Lance and Chelsea. They own a country store here in the local area. And over the last several months, he and I have had a chance to chat quite a bit about business and this and that. And I've encouraged him to start acting like that media company and start putting out regular content on Facebook, video, uh, f- pictures, etc. And it's starting to work in a big way. They're starting to grow their business. They do a, a jambalaya night on Friday night and sell or serve jambalaya meals and That continues to grow each Friday as they sell more and more and more. Because quite honestly, they're the only one in our area that I see anyway that is utilizing video in that way in the local area. Got another guy that is one of our franchisees, Dave and his wife, Wendy, up in Kansas. They've got ice machines and I encourage them to begin to utilize video here during the winter to help promote and educate people in their area. And and they've st- seen a steady uptick in business as well, just because of the awareness that that's brought about. The second lesson or the second thing that I've learned is that audio is going to continue to grow as an important means for us staying informed as well. As we get more and more busy, audio allows us to multitask. It allows us to make better use of our time as we're doing household chores or mowing the lawn or working out or driving somewhere because we can listen to a podcast and educate ourselves or we can listen to an audio book. Well, that is going to become more and more prevalent as well. So those, once again, who want to establish themselves as a thought leader or promote their business in an indirect way by providing value to the people who might listen that are out there, podcast, Amazon, Echo, briefings, etc., are uh, a, a good way to go. And it's still very early in that world for those interested. Finally, chat bots are going to continue to grow and be a bigger and bigger part of the customer service experience for many big and small companies. Many of us are already interacting with chat bots and we don't even know it. They handle basic tasks currently to get us where we need to go. Think of the the telephone tree of old that we still have to deal with oftentimes where you know you you pick from one of three or four options to start and then it gives you another several options as you go to where you finally get a chance to talk to somebody. Well, the same thing is happening, but it's it's been automated utilizing chat bots, where, which are essentially smart computers that are taking over those tasks. It's saving companies money. It's providing a better customer service experience for us, the consumer, and we will continue to see more and more and more of that as time goes on. So anyway, just three quick lessons from Social Media Marketing World 2018. Hope you'll decide if you're in that space to join us next year. And we'll stop next
Thanks for listening. Check out our website, sowingseed.net, the Sowing Seed channel on YouTube. And if you got something out of today's podcast, give us a five-star review on your podcast player of choice. Until next time, go plant the seed you need to succeed.